Hello friends, welcome to the lab exercise. In the previous video, we had already gone through about active sync protocol and mailbox plans. We have to implement organization security use case for mobile devices, which we had already gone through in the very first part of this video series. Now we will practice how to enable or disable active sync protocol for specific user or upon new mailbox creation using different methods and techniques. This lab exercise and all upcoming video series are really exciting and informative for everyone. So do not miss it. Let's go through few PowerShell commands before going to lab exercise. This command will disable exchange active sync for the mailbox of user1. User1 is our specific user. So this command only disable active sync protocol for this user only. We can disable active sync for a specific user using PowerShell command or GUI using exchange admin center so we will learn in lab exercises how we can disable from GUI or PowerShell what if if we want to enable active sync for this user if active sync enable parameter value is true so active sync will be enabled for that particular user. This command enable active sync for mailbox user one. If we want to verify the changing of this command, this command get gas mailbox will return the active sync results for a user. For example, if its value is false its mean active sync is disabled if its value is true that means active sync is enabled let's go through the powershell commands for mailbox plans we will use powershell commands in our lab exercise to enable or disable active sync protocol for specific mailbox plan or all mailbox plans using PowerShell. Get cast mailbox plan commandlets will return a list of all cast mailbox plan in the organization. If we are planning to disable active sync upon mailbox creation for all mailbox plans this command will do that which means no matter what license we have assigned to user because we are disabling active sync for all mailbox plans we can also disable active sync for specific mailbox plan in this example this command will disable active sync protocol for exchange online enterprise plan only now let's move to our lab exercise I have launched Windows PowerShell using run as administrator and I have already connected with exchange online PowerShell if you don't know how to connect with exchange online PowerShell so don't worry I have already prepared a video on how to connect with Exchange Online PowerShell using multi-factor authentication or without MFA. You can find that video link in this video description. Now let's start executing these commands. The very first command is disable the active sync protocol for this user. Now select this command and hit F8 button or click here. 
so now command has been executed successfully for this user if you want to know the status of the protocol of this user you can execute the last command get cast mailbox identi identity with this user name so I will select this command and hit F8 so now we can see here is the active sync enabled protocol value is false which means active sync protocol is disabled for this user if you want to re-enable the protocol for this user you can run this command with true value if hit F8 and now we will verify the status of the command I will select again this command get command and hit F8 here you go now you can see the value is true which means the active string protocol has been enabled for this user successfully so in this way you can enable or disable the active sync protocol for specific user using powershell so now we will learn how we can, can enable or disable active sync pro protocol upon new mailbox creation so let's get it started now here is the list of commands for cache mailbox plans the very first command will return the list of all cache mailbox plans in the organization so let's select and hit F8 which will return the list of all cache mailbox plans available in the organization so now we can see the list of all cache mailbox plans available in the organization so here is the list of all cache mailbox plans available so one thing is to notice here active sync enable protocol value is false which means active sync protocol is enabled for every cache mailbox plans in the organization so we can enable or disable the active sync protocol for specific cache mailbox plans or all cache mailbox plans available in the organization now we will disable active sync protocol for all cache mailbox plan so let's execute the second command command has been executed successfully so I want to show you the result of this command so I will execute the very first command perfect so now you can see the difference in the very first command the active sync enable value is true in the second command is value is false which means active sync protocol has been disabled for all cache mailbox plans available in the organization you can also re-enable the uh, active sync protocol for all cache mailbox plan so we will execute the third command to enable the active sync protocol for all gas mailbox plans in the organization command has been executed successfully so I want to show you the result of this command perfect now you can see the value is true for active sync enabled which means active sync protocol has been enabled for all cache mailbox plan again now we can enable or disable active sync protocol for specific cache mailbox plan so here is the command uh, will disable act active sync protocol for exchange online enterprise plan so i will select and execute the command so command has been executed successfully so i want to show you the result here you go now we can see uh, active sync enabled is value is false for exchange online enterprise perfect so uh, which means active sync uh, protocol is disabled for exchange online enterprise cash mailbox plan only so we can re-enable this value by using this command select this and hit F8 and I want to show you the result perfect now you can see we have uh, successfully re-enabled the value 
uh, of active sync enabled which is true for exchange online enterprise so in this way we can enable or disable active sync protocol for all cash mailbox plans or specific cash mailbox plans now i will show you the user experience once you disable active sync protocol for that user so how user will experience uh, one uh, if you disable the protocol for that user so let's get it started I have my mobile here and I have opened up the email client to configure my email uh, email client here so I will add my email address here and I will choose exchange and office 65 and I have to enter my email address here I have successfully entered my email address here and I will choose next and in the next screen it will prompt for password so I will enter my password in the next screen so I have to enter the password here I have entered my password successfully and I will choose sign in for demo purpose I can skip for now now email client is trying to connect with uh, or sync uh, this user mailbox in email client so let's see what happened it's still trying to uh, sync uh, user one mailbox in email client here you go so you we can see uh, the error message cannot reach the server try again later or contact your IT admin so we uh, because we have disabled active protocol and this email client is unable to sync uh, this user emails in this email client so we have blocked uh, email client successfully for this user feel free to subscribe the channel and share this video with your tech community thank you so much and thanks for your time